So I can't be bothered to set up the face cam in the proper area because I've got to use a bigger tripod and so I decided just to use my normal smaller Why? vlogging tripod. Oh but it, it's Black Ops, I'm playing Black Ops 2. I am playing this game, mm, not sure if you noticed. The reason why I'm doing a normal cut com today is just because I wanted to talk to you guys and I know some of you like Call of Duty and everything so I thought I'm, I'm not, not going to stop it at all so I'm just, why not? So what I wanted to talk about is um, probably the title like going on holiday or something like that and that is because in April, so April the 4th, me and Alex actually leave to go to Magaluf in Spain. Fuck you! Trying to pistol with me after I hit market. I uh, love a bit of split triple head shot. So if you didn't know, uh, which most of you probably won't, Magaluf is known for parties basically in Spain. So there's Magaluf and there's Banadorn. Both of them are known mainly for massive parties like clubbing and everything like that. Which is kind of one of my worries because there are a few reviews oh in the God. hotel that were staying that that had some complaints about, you know, young adults just being obnoxiously loud and stuff next door and keeping them awake at night and everything. And I like my sleep. So if that happens... I'm not going to be a happy person. Obviously, when I'm there, I'm going to be making probably... I might make some skits and stuff. I'm going to be vlogging it every day. We might try and think of some other videos and stuff to do whilst I'm there because I'm taking my laptop and my camera and stuff so we uh, can do that sort of thing. And there is Wi-Fi as well, so that should be all good. I might upload vlogs every day whilst I'm away because, obviously, we're there for seven days and we're not going to be bored any of those days. We might have one rest day. But otherwise, we're going to be doing stuff. Uh, so this should be interesting vlogs. But yeah, we're staying in a place that has got Honolulu in the title. That can't be bad, can it? And I'm t See, this is why I don't like... The cut comms just make you die more. And dying more makes me mad. And so, in turn, making cut comms makes me mad. No third? No? Okay, cool. Yeah, we're staying in a hotel that has Honolulu in the title. So I kind of like that. It's kind of funny and a weird word. So I, that's... That's... That's good to know. Oh, fucking kill yourself. See, this guy's getting mad, but he killed last last game. But yeah, so things kind of changed. So me, Alex, and Andrew were going to go on holiday because Andrew's mum's got a place in Spain. And then um, after, so we planned that in like November of last year, obviously. And so we had that plan from November and then we started planning like how we're going to get there, what we're going to do there and how we're going to get back and everything like that. And, look at, and looking at the flight times and stuff. And then Andrew just stopped talking to us for multiple weeks in a row. Like, he just stopped talking, didn't mention anything in the chat. And so me and Alex started to get a bit sceptical, you know, because um, if you're tr if the person who's not talking to you is his mum's place you're trying to stay at, that's kind of important that he talks. So we were getting a bit sceptical whether this, this is going to happen or not, but I was in the mood to, and so was Alex kind of. He was, like, on and off, but we were in the mood to go away anyway. So we were looking at, like, Tenerife and stuff to go away. And then... Um, and then we ended up deciding not to do that because it was more expensive than we thought. And we found this place, I can't remember the name of, but it had like everything. It was walking distance to a water park, the beach, town centre. It had AstroTurf in the back for football. It had tennis in the back and it had a pool. So it was like perfect. And it also wasn't a party place either, which I wasn't really thinking of. But it wasn't a party place. It was literally perfect. And it was just over 260 each, I think. And that includes the flights, the accommodation, and also transport to get from the hotel to the airport and from the airport to the hotel, which is really good. And it was also half board. And if you don't know what half board is, was I speaking too fast then? Half board is basically where you get every day for no extra cost. You get a free you get a free breakfast and lunch, or free lunch and dinner. So say on the first day we want a breakfast and lunch and then we've got to buy our own dinner. Next day we want to have lunch and dinner but then we've got to buy our own breakfast, that sort of thing. But you get that every day which is good. So half board at that price, just over 260 each was like perfect. And it was like perfect distance from everything. And then I gave him my card details to pay for it and the money came out of my account. And at like, um, I think it was... 270 odd each in total in the end and then he so I was on hold for like ages and then he told me that There's another client who was waiting and he got it just before I did so I paid and he paid But his went through literally like a second before because the it was available before I paid and then I gave him my card details and stuff And then it wasn't available. So that means he paid just before me which is kind of a bummer because then there was other there was one other room but then that went up to like 300 pound each and I will kind of wanted my limit to be 250 just because it's only a week's holiday and mum didn't think we needed to we'd want we should spend 300 pound but I mean I would have and I'm kind of regretting not doing that now but um 
you know, we've, we've, we've booked holiday anyway, we're still going away, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Now we're going to Magaluf, so it's in, I think it's five, three minute walk to the beach, which is still good, obviously. Five minutes to a water park, and then the town's just around the corner and everything like that. But the only difference is, apart from it being a party area, it doesn't have uh, Astro available. So the first one had, like, free Astro, you could go and use it whenever in the back of the hotel. Whereas this one, it has Astro around the area. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be something like what F2 do and what we've done before is where you've got to like kind of pay to use the pitch for a certain length of time, which we obviously we can do, but it's just kind of annoying seeing as we missed a way of getting it for free. So, uh, you, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it, you know, uh, we'll have to. It's always the beach anyway where we can do like keep it up and stuff and make goals if you wanted to do anything like that. But I mean, obviously actual goals and stuff are better. But like I said, like this is like the third time now we've got to deal with it. Because obviously we've already paid for it. There's no, there's no point. There's no turning back now or anything. So we're going away to 4th of April. I think teleportation would actually be cool. If you could just think of anywhere. Like not in detail though. Like if you could just think of a place. And then you could just teleport to it. Like sometimes um, like in films. You've got to like think deeply about all the details and stuff. And then you can teleport. But I think it would just be easier. If you just think of a name of a place. And it will take you there. You know. Why, why can't it be that simple? Why? <laughs> Okay, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. It was just talking about the holiday. When I hit 2k, the change video will all be out explaining everything, but basically I'm going to be keeping a vlog channel separate and I'm probably only uploading vlogs there once a week or twice a week because my days aren't that interesting. Unless, like in April, we go on holiday, then I'll probably upload every day or something like that just to, you know, because it's more entertaining. But otherwise, I'm only going to be uploading once or twice a week in those vlogs. They may be longer ones, like with like five days worth of recording but only little bits of recording each day, so it shouldn't be too bad. So that's what I'm going to be doing there, and then this channel is going to have a couple of changes, which, like I said, when I hit 2k, last week you'll see those. So subscribe, and get other people to subscribe if you really want to see the changes, because I've already made the video, and it's already up. It's been up for like a month, so, yeah. And I've already made some videos for the change as well, so there are some changes that are happening, and then I've already got videos prepared for after I've hit 2k, and after the change is prepared, so, mm-hmm. Goodbye. Thank you for watching, you uh, sexy peasants. I think peasants is a bad thing, isn't it? You sexy people.